welcome back to another RPG in a Box tutorial. Today, we'll be learning about creating transparency in our voxel models using transparent colors in the voxel editor. If you'd like to see the topics we'll be covering or skip to a particular topic, check out the chapter listing in the video description below. Now let's open up RPG in a Box and get started. I have the water tile from the default example game open in the voxel editor, and I'll be using this tile to demonstrate transparency in this tutorial. The transparent colors option is located here in the model tools panel. And since there aren't currently any transparent colors in this model, the dropdown is grayed out. But if you click on the green plus button to the right of the dropdown, it will add the currently selected color to the list of transparent colors, making that color transparent in the current model. Clicking the red X button will delete the color shown in the transparent colors dropdown from the list of transparent colors, returning that color to opaque in the current voxel model. So let's first select a color we want to add to the transparent colors list. I'll select the eyedropper tool and then click on the main watercolor, which will select it. Then I'll click on the green plus button next to the transparent colors dropdown to add the color of the water to the list of transparent colors in the model. After a color has been added to the transparent colors list, a slider appears allowing you to set the level of transparency for that color. To the left is more transparent, and to the right is more opaque. Like with other mesh effects, the effect is only applicable to the in-game mesh and isn't visible in the editor. However, we can use the preview game mesh function to see what the model will look like in-game. So let's preview the model now. If I open up this map made of the water tiles, you can see that there's a strange effect at the edges of the tiles. This is because the tiles still have surfaces along the sides of the grid boundaries. And since you can now see through the tiles, you can see those surfaces. To counteract this, there's a setting to remove surfaces along grid boundaries, which will stop RPG in a box from generating any surfaces on the grid boundaries. So let's look at what the resulting model looks like with this option checked. The model now has no bottom or side surfaces. So if we look at the map again, we can see that it tiles beautifully. Although you'd probably want to add in an opaque bottom to the water tile, so that you won't be able to see straight through it and into the void under your map. It's important to note that if you have remove surfaces along grid boundaries checked, it will remove the surface on every single voxel that touches any of the voxel grid, even the top. So if I were to fill this mesh completely with my transparent color and then preview it, we have absolutely nothing because every one of its surfaces were along the grid boundaries. So essentially every single surface was removed. If you don't want a transparent surface removed, either make sure this setting is unchecked or make sure your transparent color isn't touching any of the voxel grid. Let's return to our default water tile and play with transparency some more. I'm going to move the tile up one using the button in the viewport. Select a dark blue to make an opaque bottom layer for the water tile. Now let's see what our tile looks like in the map now. Much better. But suppose we don't want opaque cubes floating in our water. So let's add transparency to the other colors in the voxel model. And you can adjust the transparency of each color individually. That's all for transparent colors. I hope you've learned some new skills that will add dimension to your voxel models. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. 
feel free to leave any comments or suggestions down below. And if you'd like to see more of these tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support of RPG in a Box. If you'd like to purchase RPG in a Box or try out its free demo, check out the links in the description below. And if you'd like to support me as I create these tutorials and Justin as he works on RPG in a Box, please consider becoming a patron of our Patreon. You can find a link to our Patreon in the video description below as well. And most importantly, remember that you are awesome, and I hope that you have an awesome day.